In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pause for a moment, calling to mind our sins, preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Jesus came into this world to be one of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus died on the cross to save us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Jesus rose from the dead to give us courage and hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Amalek came and waged war against Israel. Moses, therefore, said to Joshua, Pick out certain men, and tomorrow go out and engage Amalek in battle. I will be standing on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him. He engaged Amalek in battle. After Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and Hur, as long as Moses kept his hands raised up, Israel had the better of the fight. But when he let his hands rest, Amalek had the better of the fight. Moses' hands, however, grew tired, so they put a rock in place for him to sit on. Meanwhile, Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and his people, with the edge of the sword. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God, and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word, be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true, I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. We miss you, Lord Jesus Christ. We need to have perseverance in prayer and in action. Moses went to the top of the hill to raise his hands in prayer for Joshua and his men as they fought the battle below. Moses grew tired, and he let his hands rest. Amalek then began to get the better of Joshua. Aaron and Hur held up Moses' hands, and Joshua won the battle. Moses, Aaron, and Hur persevered in prayer and in action. Jesus would later tell us, that where two or three are gathered together in his name, he would be in the midst of them. Jesus told the parable in our gospel today, a parable, a story with a message about a poor widow who was not getting justice from a, a dishonest judge. 
She kept bugging him until he gave in to get rid of her. The, the widow did not give up. St. Paul did not take an, the easy way out. He encouraged us to be persistent when whether convenient or inconvenient. If we, think, if we think God is not answering our prayers, we must not give up. Join others in prayer, and together we can persevere in prayer and in action. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For her sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and adored, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ, the new Adam, has destroyed sin and recreated us in his image. United in him, let us offer our prayers to God the Father. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elected leaders of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose lives are endangered because of war, poverty, abortion, euthanasia, terrorism, or other persecution, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions, for the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, all life comes from you and finds fulfillment by returning to you. Grant that the prayers we make in Christ's name hasten the coming of your kingdom and assist us in glorifying your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, but when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heavens and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and of resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy they should enter my room, but only say the word of my Let us pray. O 
Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of God. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do the heavenly host, by the power of God, trust in the hell of Satan, evil spirits, who follow up the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here. Please allow me to say thank you for your support of the televised Mass. Your support continues to make this Mass available to all the people of our diocese. God bless you for that and please continue your support. We need you and we definitely depend upon your support in prayer. God be with you. <laughs>